The head coach of the Nebraska Cornhuskers, Bo Pelini, joining us now from Lincoln, Nebraska. Coach, welcome into the show. You know, there's so much excitement on our end having Nebraska added to the Big Ten. Give us a sense now as you go through spring practice and the anticipation starts to grow and we get closer, what it's like in Nebraska. Well, I think, uh, you know, the, 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 our program, obviously, and then uh, the fan base, I think everybody's excited. You know, anytime you have that sense of something new, you know, people are, are looking forward to it, you know, and, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, I think everybody's honored, you know, they're, we're looking forward to, you know, joining the tremendous tradition that's, you know, that's been represented in the Big Ten and the schools and the coaching and the great players that have come through that conference and coming in to be a part of it and bringing our tradition and our culture to to mesh. I think, number one, I think it's a good fit. Number two, I think it's going to be a great challenge and, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody associated with Nebraska football. You mentioned it's a challenge. From a coaching point of view, what's the biggest challenge to entering a new conference? Well, you know, you just look at, we're basically going to be playing 11, you know, we play Washington, who we played last year, and, uh, and then we'll have 11 new opponents. So that's, uh, you know, it just requires a little bit more work in the off season. You know, the, you don't have a lot of, a lot of familiarity with, uh, with your opponents and, and uh, what they, you know, kind of their philosophies and what they, you know, what they like to do, what they don't like to do. And, and uh, you just, you know, you get accustomed to playing certain opponents each and every year, or at least every couple of years. And a lot of these we haven't played. And uh, so it'll be, you know, it requires a lot more work in the off season. And uh, uh, it's gonna take some work on our staff's part to kind of get familiar with people so that it's not brand new and you're not trying to get ready for somebody in five or six days. So you gotta develop a kind of some kind of base before uh, you get to that point. Now on the flip side, they obviously won't have a great deal of familiarity with you either. And on top of that, you have a new offensive coordinator in Tim Beck, so there's a lot of speculation as to exactly what you guys are going to be doing. How much insight are you willing to give us into what this offense is going to look like? Well, not much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think, you know, you, you, what we want to do is we want to just, I think we, most important thing philosophically, what we've done is we've simplified it. We've uh, uh, really reduced the verbiage. Um, you know, tried to make it uh, a lot more simple for our players so they could just go out and play fast, play hard, um, concentrate on fundamentals, technique. Obviously, there's the X and O's part of it uh, is something that, uh, you know, we want to be very multiple, but, but to keep it simple at the same time. So our players hear a lot of same as, but we're, like, we're able to give multiple looks and, and give some things that's hard for a defense to, to play against. And, uh, you know, they, they, you walk that fine line all the time as a coach where you, you, you want to make it hard on the, on the opponent, but at the same time, you want to make sure that uh, your players are very familiar and very confident in what they're doing. So that, that's, that's, in the end, that's what we're trying to do philosophically. And, and at the end of the day, we want to be a very physical football team. You know you've got to be physical when you go into the Big Ten because it's a physical conference. And, and uh, I think that's the direction that we're headed, and I, I've, I've liked what, what we've done this spring in that regards. Part of the conversation surrounding the new offense, obviously, is who's going to be running it from the quarterback position. The day we were there, Taylor Martinez was a little banged up, so he was participating kind of minimally in practice. What kind of sense can you give us as to how this quarterback derby is playing out? Well, I think they've all, first of all, they've all gotten better. You know, Taylor, uh, I think he's gotten better. I think he's matured. I think uh, playing in that uh, – you know, having played and gained the experience he had from, you know, kind of being through the trials last year has helped him. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen him get better. I've seen Cody Green uh, get better as the spring went on. Um, Breon Carnes is a young uh, young man who's, you know, early, obviously early in his career who um, has made a lot of strides. And I think he's showed that he has a lot of talent to do some great things. And, uh, and he's just, you know, obviously he's green as all is, you know, green as they come because he's really, this is, he's just a redshirt freshman and, uh, but he's getting better. And, uh, you know, Ron Kellogg's a young, young man. And uh, we obviously have Bubba Star Starling who's going to be coming and join us here in a couple months. So we really like our, our players, the leadership, uh, the talent that's in our quarterback position. And I think that, uh, 
you know, we have we feel confident that we have a number of guys who can go in and play winning football for us. Defensively last year, you were obviously quite strong. There was a drop off in terms of getting into the opponent's backfield, and I suppose you would expect that when you lose a player of the talent of Indomit and Sue. But how do you get back to where you were a couple years ago, where you were consistently kind of terrorizing the quarterbacks? Well, I think that we, you know, I don't know what the numbers played out, but I thought we played pretty good defense last year. We're going to be stronger up front because we're going to be a lot deeper up front this year than we were a year ago. Um, you know, we played a lot of some young guys there last year, and, and I think they've grown up and gotten better, and we've moved, we've moved some guys around. And, um, you know, we're not, we're not a team that's a real penetrating type team, you know, in, in up front. And, you know, we read our guys a lot and do those kinds of things. And you really even look at Sue's numbers until the very end of the year. He didn't have a tremendous amount of sacks and things, but they, they do make a lot of plays. You just look at the numbers that, you know, Jared Crick and some of the other guys have put up. You know, our guys up front do make plays. It's not necessarily, you know, uh, you know, running through through gaps because we don't really penetrate. You know, we're not a, a constant penetration team with our front. So we feel good about what we have coming back in the front and, and on defense. We, you know, we, we we have some real playmakers coming back, and we get Sean Fisher back at the linebacker position. And um, I really like uh, what we've seen out of our defense. You know, we got a couple young guys depth-wise that got a really – step up for us and uh, and play some winning football for us and then they're showing us that through this spring that they're capable of doing that what was your initial thought when you saw the big 10 conference portion of the schedule i mean the fact that you guys play all of the traditional powers ohio state and michigan and penn state and wisconsin and iowa well i said that uh they sure didn't want to try to do us any favors in our first year but uh you know, that's good. I mean, it's uh, no matter what, there's really no, uh, you know, every team in the Big Ten is going to be well coached. They're all going to have talent. They all play good football. And that's been the tradition, the balance they have in the conference. And so no matter how it's stacked up, it would have been uh, a challenge. And um, But it looked like, you know, for, like as far as how the teams finished last year, that we, you know, we got a lot of them on our schedule coming up. And um, but I look at it this way: they gotta, we we have to play them, but they gotta play us too. And uh, you know, we we look forward to it. We know it's going to be a challenge, and uh, um, it, it's going to be a fun year. It's going to be a uh, obviously a first, and uh, I think our you know our team is uh, is excited to be a part of it. Well, we're excited to have you as a part of it, Coach. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to working with you. And again, welcome to the Big Ten. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it.